What is the weirdest most disturbing fact about our world's history that you know? Mary Toft reportedly gave birth to up to nine rabbits at a time. Doctors were convinced that she was telling the truth until they found pieces of corn inside the stomach of one of the rabbits. Proving that it hadn't developed inside Toft's womb. It turned out that she had been manually inserting the rabbits to make the delivery look as realistic as possible. You. That's all folks. There are books in the Harvard University Library which are bound in human flesh. I have a skeleton like that. Persians used to tie cats to their shields during the war with Egypt cause it was against Egyptian law to kill cats. It was a double-edged blade. On one hand, you had a tactical advantage because the Egyptians would try not to hit the cat, due to cats being a holy animal, but because they were using cats as shields the Egyptians probably wouldn't show them any mercy and have more motivation to kill them. The Mayans partied hard. They would take alcohol and hallucinogenic enemas. In social studies they had us watch a special on them and I vividly remember an artist's rendering of a man doing a handstand while getting an enema. The original keg stand. Sounds more like a peg stand. Russia still has not recovered its population prior to World War II. Ireland neither. But from the Great Famine and Expulsion in the 1850s. That we've been on the brink of a global nuclear exchange several times. And that in one case, Cuban blockade. It was only because a single man, Vasily Arkhipov, disagreed with standing orders. That a nuclear exchange was likely averted. All the time when there was a false alert of a nuclear launch and the Russian guy in charge didn't send an alert to send nukes as a counterattack. We came close to killing a lot of people with nuclear bomb. Even funnier is when the US dropped multiple nuclear bombs by accident for the duration of the Cold War. From the fall of the Roman Empire up until the mid-19th century, not a single city in Europe had a sewer system to dispose of human fesses. City planners didn't build sewers until it was proven in 1855 that the cause for all the cholera epidemics was drinking water contaminated by human fesses. Anytime I watch a movie from this time period like Gangs of New York, or a documentary around 1776. I fail in not thinking to myself man. Everybody in this situation smells like pure shit. Rainbow Valley of Mount Everest is named for the rainbow colors of clothing of dead people there. So I knew this fact. Then one day I watched a video of someone passing by the body's whole new level creepy. Green boots just look like a guy napping. Stalin ordered scientists to do experiments to create a breed of super strong monkeys to fight wars. If I remember correctly it was actually human monkey hybrids that they were aiming for. Which somehow makes both more and less sense at the same time. The bodies buried beneath John Wayne Gacy's house were crammed together so tightly. The bones fused together and it took over two years to separate all the bodies. I keep trying to wrap my head around this and just can't make sense of it. Wouldn't they originally have more volume when the flesh was still on? Thereby having more room for the skeletons themselves after decomposition? What would chemically cause bones to fuse? I've never heard of this before. Read a letter from an officer to his wife in the Swedish army during the Thirty Years' War. We came upon the town. And beat to death all the men. But not the women and children. Those were beaten to death by the Finns. Schwedentrunk. HTTPS colon slash slash. En. Wikipedia. Org Wiki Schwedentrunk, Swedish drink, was a torture method in the Thirty Years' War. Where the victim was tied down and forced to drink large amounts liquid manure. Coffin birth happens. It happens when a pregnant corpse begins to decompose and the built up gases push the fetus from the body. We reading the answers was great. This is where I shall take my leave. 40% of all homeless people in America still goes to work every day. Most homeless people aren't what we think of as homeless. I. E. They're not living on the street. They're living with friends or family. Due to fresh drinking water being so scarce on the Galapagos Islands, some bird species, such as the Galapagos hawk, have adapted by drinking the blood of other animals. I was real curious about this cause it sounds metal as fuck. But I think you have the wrong bird. I couldn't find anything about the Galapagos hawk doing that. But I did find out about, this finch, https colon slash slash, www, nighttimes, com the 8th of June 2019 science vampire birds Galapagos, html. Most people have 16 great great parents. 
Cleopatra had two. She's lucky to have developed working lungs, let alone be competent enough to accomplish anything. That was a family tree was a wreath. And half the Roman government was like lem have a piece of that Nile jewel. Thank you very much. Paraguayan war killed off 95% of its male adult population and no one even knows it happened. Hey. I am Paraguayan. Can confirm. I'm dead. That the world let King Leopold II go completely nuts in the Congo. King Leopold II. He was a monster. This photo and its significance should make anyone sick. HTTPS colon slash slash en Wikipedia org wiki Leopold to a Belgium media file Nsalo Waller in Congo looks at the severed hand and foot of his five-year-old daughter 1904 JPG The Great War was meant to end on the 10th of November but they decided to make it the 11th because it would be more memorable Hundreds of people died in that one day span Those who make those insane decisions Never have to actually fight in the wars they control. Not the most disturbing. But weird nevertheless, back in the 19th century a carnival was headed through the next town over. And during the stop a hippopotamus went nuts and started killing people and livestock. Ever since then the town has taken the hippo as its mascot because it's such a ferocious animal. That's the one animal Steve Irwin did not mess with either. Because they were so unpredictable and scary. Most disturbing has to be the details of the rape of Nanjing. Toshiaki Mukai and Tsuyoshi Noda were officers that had a bet on who would be the first to kill 100 by sword. They both surpassed that number in a day. 20. 000 women and girls were raped. 60. 000 civilians were massacred after the city of Nanjing, Nanking, was captured. It is one of the most shockingly brutal events in history. Yes Japan has committed some sick atrocities. Also a lot of terrible medical experiments on their captives. During World War I on the Eastern Front, Germany and Russia were going at it in one battle when German troops deployed mustard gas against the Russian troops who were advancing. The Russian troops emerged from the gas smoke throwing up blood. Blood leaking from their nose. Eyes. Their skin turned yellow and pale. They looked like undead soldiers. Literal zombies. The German troops were so frightened that they abandoned their positions and retreated. It was called the Attack of the Dead Men. Took place on the 6th of August, 1915. Adolf Hitler was saved from drowning at age 9 in a fountain by a priest. He was also spared by an English soldier in World War I for no other reason than that the chap didn't feel like killing yet another person that day. The conquests of Timur used terror as a way of discouraging revolts after capturing a city. Building little towers of heads. Cementing people in the city walls they were defending or instructing his soldiers to return to camp with two severed heads. When the soldiers ran out of citizens to decapitate. They would turn to pals and after that. Their wives. Most people are familiar that the likes of Genghis Khan. Julius Caesar or Napoleon existed. But not as much people know about Demur. He wasn't only arguably as successful as a military commander but also just a really scary dude. He also really liked pillaging Georgia. Like nearly every campaign he goes he just finishes it with pillaging Georgia. Weird. Not so much disturbing as it is funny, at least to me. The Kettle War. Long story short. Spain, the Holy Roman Empire, and the Netherlands, the seven republics of the Netherlands, were beefing. One boat from Spain engaged in a fight with a Dutch naval ship. One shot was fired. The only victim of that cannonball was a pot of soup that was cooking. The Spanish ship then surrendered. No soup for you. Some ancient cultures knew that they could control population growth by denying fertile females both fats and carbohydrates. This process guaranteed that embryos would not mature in the womb due to the lack of food energy derived from carrying mothers. The embryos would self-abort. A certain ratio of body fat is required for successful pregnancies. Harris at Cannibals and Kings. Spartans bathed their newborn babies in red wine instead of warm water. Probably safer than the water at the time. Some people actually resorted to selling their kids during the Great Depression. HTTPS colon slash slash rerehistoricalfatus com slash four children sale 1948. If I recall correctly there are pictures from the Holodomer, a Cranian famine of two adults selling human flesh. I don't know why selling kids. Immediately made me think of that. 
I think I remember reading that it was the couple's children that they butchered for the meat. Circumcision was popularized in America by John Harvey Kellogg, inventor of cornflakes, as a way to stop masturbation. He also advocated pouring carbolic acid on the clitoris. Cornflakes themselves were invented to reduce the temptation of masturbation. HTTPS colon slash slash en m Wikipedia org wiki lomakwi. It's a site in Africa where stone tools dating back three three million years were found. That is about 500 zero 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 years older than our own genus. Meaning earlier hominids had a very long time to form their own crude societies before our nearest ancestors even existed. I would like to see the smartest person of each major era throughout history get together and see what they come up with. From the smartest caveman to smartest modern person.